Dr. Tim Durkin with the Base Medical Team, and in this video, we're going to talk about how to perform the near point convergence test. The near point convergence test, or NPC, is a useful exam maneuver if you're trying to distinguish if uh, your patient may have sustained a concussion. Um, and if you'd like to learn more about this uh, exam maneuver and how it fits into the evaluation of head injury and concussion, then, uh, then check out some of our additional content uh, at base-medical.com. In order to perform the near point convergence test, basically the only piece of equipment that you need is a pen or other object that has small writing on it. It's helpful to have a tape measure with centimeter markings on it, but that's actually not essential, particularly in a field situation. So if I'm gonna perform a near point convergence test on Sharon, then the first thing I'll have her do is sit down in a comfortable, secure place, and then I'll ask her to take her glasses off. As we examine the ability of the eyes to converge and focus uh, close into the face, there can be some, uh, some error caused by uh, refraction through the, uh, through the lenses at a very oblique angle. So it's helpful to have the patient remove their glasses, but if they have contacts on, you could leave those in place. So then I'm gonna have Sharon hold the zero marking of the tape measure on the tip of her nose with a couple fingers there. And perfect, so now zero on this tape measure is just at the tip of Sharon's nose. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start at a far distance and I'm gonna ask Sharon to go ahead and focus on the writing on this pen. And you're gonna let me know, Sharon, when you start to see double. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna slide this in kind of slowly. Perfect. There. Okay, so right at about one centimeter. And so uh, for consistency, we like to repeat this test three times. And so you wanna see relatively consistent results if the patient's doing well, or sometimes in a concussion injury, you'll see a fatigability where they're distance will begin to increase uh, with repeated effort. So we'll do that two more times. And you can actually hold that with just the tip of one finger and that, that's perfect right there, good. And so do you see the objects? Yes. Yeah, or see the words yes. coming towards you slowly and let me know when you see double. There. Right there, so just about one centimeter again. Excellent work, Sharon. So let's do that once more for completeness. Okay. Oops. Super. So once again, the zero marking is right at the tip of the patient's nose. Can you see the writing on the pen? Yes. Wonderful. So we'll repeat this a third time and let me know when you see double. There. There. Good. So once again, right at one centimeter. So that's great. So Sharon's results were one centimeter, one centimeter, one centimeter. We would document that as one slash one slash one. And so um, this is a result that's consistent with Sharon not having a concussion. If the patient's results are anywhere from three centimeters to zero, then, um, uh, then that's not consistent with a concussion. That's consistent more with a healthy patient. If you're seeing numbers of eight centimeters or greater where they begin to see double, that is consistent with a concussion or perhaps a more severe head injury. And so given that the distance between zero and three centimeters versus eight or more centimeters is actually fairly significant that we should be able to distinguish that just by estimation. You start to see where the, um, the tape measure is really not essential if you're just doing this for a rough measurement in the field setting. When I'm performing the exam maneuver, I'm looking at the patient and I'm looking at their eyes. As they start to focus uh, closer and closer, their eyes should converge and actually become a little bit cross-eye appearing um, in the last few centimeters. If you don't see that and the patient seems to be just staring straight ahead, they're, they're not really participating with the exam. One other thing you might notice as the eyes begin to converge is that the patient may demonstrate exophoria where the eyes initially converge and then one of the eyes will actually go lazy and look out to the side. And that can be an indicator of a more significant vestibular ocular, <clears throat> that can be an indicator of a more significant vestibular ocular injury in concussion. So do pay attention to how the eye, uh, patient's eyes uh, are performing um, during the test. 
Thanks so much for watching this video. And again, if you'd like to learn more about uh, concussion evaluation, particularly in the um, uh, wilderness medicine and austere medicines or a field care type situation, then we have some more content you can check out below. Thanks so much and have a great day. Great, so let's... <laughs>